Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Anointed Living Ministries. My name is Aj. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Here on Anointed Living Ministries, we gather with other like-minded believers in Jesus Christ. We worship together, share a quick word from God, and then pray together in faith. You can join this amazing community by subscribing down below. Then you're going to want to click that bell so that you'll be notified each and every weekday morning at 730 Eastern Standard Time, when we upload a new video. And then, of course, definitely go out there, spread the word, share share this with your friends. God said, go out into nations spreading his good word. So I want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you down below in the chat box. Hey, y'all, I'm missing y'all live. I'm missing y'all live. I can't even lie. Um, it's It's been crazy. <laughs> it's been crazy. In fact, yesterday... Literally, I was asleep and I felt God just kept saying, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I was, I had literally taken NyQuil the night before. I was at Disneyland all night. So my body was like swamped and I kept, kept trying to wake up, kept trying to wake up. Right when I woke up, the live was gone. So that's why I wasn't in the chat box with y'all yesterday. So I want to apologize about that. But um, let me just kind of get... With a quick thing, few things in. One, loved you guys' response, rating yourselves. Um, it was weird because I felt like the prayer journal was something different that we haven't talked about. So I was I was um, weary, like, okay, guys, should I talk about this? You want me to talk about this? All right, all right, cool, let's go. Prayer it is. Um, and then to see you guys' responses was so welcoming. So I definitely appreciate you guys that voted in the chat box. Most of you guys voted between like zero and two. So that means that we need some accountability on here um, of getting our prayer life together. And really crazy, because can't wait to share what it is on today. And well, let me let me tell you about God. Let me just tell you about God real quick. So when before I left to come to California, I recorded about three recordings. So kept praying to God for God to lead me. That was all that was on my spirit. That was all like was on my time, everything. And I was like, Fridays, I'll just figure it out later. God got me, right? And so um, I was on the plane and crazy I'm about to tell you what I'm about to say what happened up but um, a situation happened and right after that God gave me the exact message with the situation that occurred that went with the other messages so there was a reason that I did not pre-record Friday like today's video because the message that I was supposed to share only came from the airplane experience that I had and if I would have done this you know went back when I was in Georgia then we would not have had the message that God wanted me to share with you guys that dealing with prayer so thank him for that um so I can't wait to share with y'all. I'm about to share with y'all that in a second. But I just wanted to like knock out everything that y'all were saying. Um, other thing, other thing, other thing, other thing. Um, I know a few of you guys were wondering where I got my prayer journal. And I told you the link was down below in the description. So in order to hit the subscription right under this video, you'll see um, like it'll see like the like, you know, the thumbs up, the like button. And right under that, you'll see some writing. If you click see more, then you'll see a link. Um, and it has prayer journal. I'll also have the prayer journal in this video. So you can go back to the prayer journal video or this video, but the link will be down below in the description. So that's where the link is, where you can get the exact prayer journal that I use. Um, if you still can't find it, don't worry. Monday will be live again, and I could just drop it in there directly in the chat box. So, sorry about that. <laughs> but yes, that was the prayer journal that I used. All right, definitely want to share with you guys what happened to me on the airplane. It was crazy um, because it relates to our message for today, which is your prayer life is what is blocking your blessing. You see, a lot of us, we realize that our prayer life may not be where we want it to be. Let say, say uh, me, actually, let, let's do another rank. I love, I love ranking. I just love seeing what y'all's input. So let's rank between one to three. Okay, or zero, one to three. Zero, I don't pray at all whatsoever. One, um, my prayer life just is kind of like so so. Um, you may be one out of one, you may be somebody that does not pray by, by yourself, but you get on here with me live 
to pray. You pray at church, like you pray through other people. Two, I pray by myself and with other people, but it's just not consistent. Or three, I pray every single day, all day long. I pray without ceasing. So let me know that down below in the chat box. What is your prayer life? Zero through three. Let's keep it simple. But um, your prayer life is what is blocking your blessing. And you might be saying, wait, I should, what, you, what you saying? But let me tell you guys what happened to me at the airport. Um, and then you'll see where God has me going with this. All right. So, um, oh, I talked about using the prayer journal already. Yes. Yeah, so this was the prayer journal that I use. So like I said, the link is down below in the chat box. All right. So I'm on the airplane, right? And our flight was delayed. And so I'm sitting like on the window. No, this isn't my actual plane, but y'all get the point. All right. So I'm sitting in the window, right at the window seat. And I look and the people are like struggling with the luggage. Well, we were supposed to pull out at exactly seven o'clock a.m. It's seven o'clock. It's seven ten. They're like, they're putting on the last, you know, luggage. I'm looking. Nope. They still have all of these, all of our luggage just sitting outside Next thing we know, it is 7.30. They are, they finally tell us that the conveyor belt broke. So what the conveyor belt is, that's this long black thing that rolls the luggage up. And what the conveyor belt does is it takes like people, they just, the men, they just put the luggage on the conveyor belt and then it rolls the luggage in, onto the airplane. Well, the conveyor belt broke. And so when the conveyor belt broke, um, they were not able, I mean, they tried to try to manually put the luggage on the plane. It wasn't working. They tried everything in their power to get that luggage on that plane, and it did not work. Um, and the crazy part is it delayed the plane over 30 minutes. Our flight was delayed. The next flight was delayed, like our layover flight. Every, all the flights were delayed because of this. But the crucial point is the luggage was sitting right there. It was perfectly fit. I mean, the luggage was like beautifully just sat in the little cart, like, oh. And all we had to do was put the luggage on the plane. It was something so simple. We just needed the luggage to be on the plane. The luggage was already ready. The plane was already ready. Think about it. I had gotten on the plane. I had my, my boarding pass ready. We had all of Kendall snacks ready. I had all of Kendall's activities ready. We were in um, on the airplane. We had our seat belts on. I had blankets. I had pillows. I was ready. I did everything that I could personally do in my power to be ready for that flight and I'm looking at my baggage the one thing that I need that I can't I can't wait to get with me the one thing I have no control over I'm looking at it and there's nothing I can do to get it on this plane why because the conveyor belt broke let me say this again I am on the plane everything that I possibly had control over I did I did my I had every I had prepared basically prepared for the flight so I'm ready to leave I'm ready to go to the next chapter of my trip I'm ready to go to the next season of my summer I'm ready to go on vacation I'm ready to get I'm ready to remove myself from the current state that I'm in I'm ready to go to a another state another environment I'm ready to change the atmosphere around me but in order to change the atmosphere around me I had did everything that I could possibly do I was on the plane I had made it there I had strapped up my seatbelt I had my daughter's seatbelt on I prepared everything I brought everything that I could think about bringing to be prepared on the flight and everything that I could possibly do on my own was right there with me however the very thing that I needed the thing I needed to go with me to the my destination I needed my luggage in order to make it to my destination I needed the clothes that I was about to wear in my next season I needed I needed my things I needed the very things that I could use on my vacation I needed my stuff and my stuff 
stuff was perfectly laid out right there, just beautifully wrapped in my luggage. I'm literally looking at my luggage, my daughter's luggage, my mama's luggage, and it's just right there, but it's not with me. It's not on the plane. Why? Because this very simple thing called a conveyor belt is now broken. And I'm here to tell you today, right now, I'm here to tell you that that could be you right now. You're looking at your blessing. Uh-oh. You're looking at your blessings and it's right there. Your, your luggage is right there and you're on the plane. You have prepared. You have been working hard at your job. You have been doing everything that you could possibly do You to be in preparation. You have done all that you can do. You have your seatbelt on. You have all your things ready. You have your snacks. You have your, your, your everything on there. However, your very thing that you need in order to make it to your next destination is sitting right outside the plane. And the one thing that is missing is that conveyor belt. And that conveyor belt is your prayer life. Your prayer life is the very thing that can take your blessings to you. You see, your prayer life is the thing that connects us with God. It's how we communicate with him. It's how we talk to him. We don't know which way to go without prayer. Prayer is how we communicate. Most of people think that we pray to God, but God, this also, he pours back into us. Prayer is a two-way communication. It is like a phone. It's two parts. It's me talking to God and God talking back to us. And we, a lot of times we think it's a one-way streak and we forget that conveyor belts get luggage on, but they also can get luggage off. It's a two-way thing. And you see, prayer is the very thing that God's going to use in order to connect your blessings to your plane. And if your prayer life is not right, your blessings will never make it on your plane. No matter what you do, no matter how many seatbelts you tie on that plane, no matter what you do, what pilot you get on the plane, no matter what airline steward you have on that plane, if you don't have your conveyor belt right, there's no way your luggage is going to get on your plane. Amen. There's no way the men could not manually put the luggage on the plane. They had to find a working conveyor belt. And if your prayer life is not right, then your blessings won't be able to come to you. Y'all don't, y'all not feeling me. You see, I could not pre-record this very exact live. I pre-recorded all of them. I pre-recorded an entire week, but I had to go through this situation so that God can give me the perfect analogy that he wanted me to tell you about your prayer life. You see, I literally sat there and asked God for, for guidance for every single day, but there was a reason I had nothing for Friday. Nothing, 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 nothing. And I'm on this plane and God literally is like, this is why you couldn't think of anything. This is why you kept praying for me and nothing came up. It's because this, you had to go through this situation and I had to be on that plane and realize that there was nothing I could do but pray to God to get my blessings. And in order to go to my destination, in order to come to Los Angeles, I needed my bags and my bags was my blessing. And he had to have that go to with me so that I can tell you today that some of you guys, I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's your prayer life that's blocking your blessings. I'm here to tell you that God has your blessing. It's right there. Your luggage is ready. It's beautifully wrapped. It's sitting there in a brand new suitcase and you're on that plane. You've done all that job applications you can do. You've done everything that you can do. And what's missing is your conveyor belt. You see your conveyor belt's not working because your prayer life's not right. Your conveyor belt's not working because you're not praying to God. Your conveyor belt's not working because you're not on your knees talking to God. Your conveyor belt's not working because you only go to God when something's wrong. Your conveyor belt's not working because you only seek out Jesus when you need something. Your conveyor belt's not working because there's no relationship. You see, in order to get the conveyor about working. God is telling you, you have to pray. And it's through your prayer that you will get your blessings. Know that your blessings are coming, but without a working conveyor belt, without a working prayer life, there's no way that your blessings are going to get on the plane. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, 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 y'all. Woo! Y'all, this is one of my favorite Bible verses, right? And this just confirms that when you have a working 
prayer life, when you have that working conveyor belt, when your two-way streak is right, when there's a relationship between you and God, then he tells us that if we just abide in him and his words, that's the his active and living words, the Bible, if his words abide in you, you see, the more you read, the more scripture will be in your heart. The more you read, the more scripture will be on the tip of your tongue. The more you dive into his word, you'll be able to speak his word because his word is active and alive and if you abide in him if you obey the commandments if you if you just lay down your your life for Jesus if you abide in him and his words are abiding in you then you can ask whatever you wish because you have a conveyor belt that's working when you can ask whatever you want because your conveyor belt is working it's it's getting the luggage on and it's taking what doesn't need to be on off and if your conveyor belt is working then you can ask whatever you wish and it shall be done for you you see that is a promise God is telling us that if we just abide in him if we just let go of the flesh let go of the fear just let go of it and just abide in him and have his words abide in you you can ask whatever you wish that luggage will be yours you can get your luggage on the very plane that you're sitting in but you see your luggage isn't on your plane because your conveyor belt is working and God is saying right now it's your prayer life that's lacking it's the relationship that's lacking that's how I communicate with you and you communicate with me and I can't put the luggage on the plane quite yet because the conveyor belt isn't working and I'm here to tell you today that you just have to get your prayer life working amen in Jeremiah 29 12 it says then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you and it's important that he tells us that when we go to him and we chase after him that he will hear us why is that important that he hears us well in first John 5, 14 and 15, it says, and this is the confidence. When you say confidence, that means 100% reassurance that we have towards him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Then if we know that he hears us, then whatever we ask, we know that we have what we requested. That means that whatever you ask for him is yours, but you only can do that if your conveyor belt is working. You see, you won't know what's according to his will if you're not praying. You won't know if you're aligned if you're not praying. And I'm here to tell you today that you have to pray in order to know. Amen. That God reveals to those who chase after him his living will. And let me tell you this. Woo! Let me tell you. Oh my gosh. God is, I love God, y'all. Okay. Let me tell you this. It's like a phone. Okay. Prayer is like a phone. Think about it. We talked about it the other day. Why pray? We talked about it being like a relationship. And I'm here to tell you right now, prayer is like a phone. It's two lines. It's two lines. You got to dial in and then you can get a dial out, right? Has it? Has anybody ever talked to themselves on the phone? It's not very exciting, is it? I know I used to pretend to do it. Yeah, back when the old Nokia's came out, I used, yeah, I won't even date myself right now, but I did used to do it when I was a teenager or middle school. It's one of the majors, I can't even remember. But if you've ever been on the phone talking to yourself, you'll notice it's not very fun because there's nobody to talk to. That's not what you do. But phones are intended to be a two-way thing. It is a conversation between one person and another. One person talks, the other person responds. But if your prayer life is not right, it's, it's silent. There's nothing there because there's nobody on the other end. So I ask you right now, is your conveyor belt working? Is your prayer life working? Is it a two-way streak? Or is it just like you sitting on a phone that is disconnected? Is there something wrong with the other line that, that, that you're sitting on the phone by yourself? Is there anybody else on the end of the phone? Amen. 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 Y'all, I'm looking, I'm, I'm pretending I'm looking in the chat box right now because baby, y'all, y'all missed it. Y'all, I think y'all missed the whole message. Some of y'all got to go back and rewatch this entire message because 
God is, God is telling us something, right? No matter where we are, this is the crazy part. No matter, even if you rank yourself a three, your prayer life can still be the very thing that's blocking your blessing because in order to go to another level, God has to get us closer to him. And now God's revealing it to me that that's even me, that I am supposed to pray more even to him right now. And I'm like, okay, God, I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. And in order to go to the next level of the person that we're trying to be, we keep talking about improving and getting elevations and blessings. And we ask all these things of God, but God is asking more of us to him. And God's saying, I can give you your luggage, boo. I have your luggage. Your luggage is already sitting right here. What I'm waiting for is the conveyor belt. What I'm waiting for is more prayer. What I'm waiting for is more time with me. What I'm waiting for is more sacrifice. What I'm waiting for is more of you. What I'm waiting for is you for the, to deny your flesh and follow me. What I'm waiting for is for you to just surrender to me so that I can get your conveyor belt working. The issue is not the blood blessing. The blessing is the easiest thing that God can do. The, the issue is that you're not giving yourself to him so that he can put the, he can put your blessing on your plane. The very thing that you think the issue is getting your luggage to uh, get in your luggage, but the issue really is putting the luggage on the plane because it's the conveyor belt. It's the relationship. It's our prayer life that's missing. Amen. 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 Woo, thank you, G. I thank God for this word, y'all. I thank God for this word. So I'm saying right now, there's somebody out here right now that just has to plug, plug in the phone. And it's not too late. You can start today. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. That's the beautiful thing about God. He is always here. In fact, he says he will never leave us nor forsake us. He is always here. And all we have to do is plug it in. All we have to do is plug in the phone and we start talking. And he tells us that he will hear us and our conveyor belt will start to work. It'll start to work. The more we pray, the faster it'll get. But I'm here to tell you that you can start today. Amen. Amen and amen. Um, if you're new here, we do like to join in prayer, so definitely drop down any prayer requests down below in the chat box, um, and let's join together in prayer as like-minded believers in Christ Jesus. Hold on, getting this thing together, getting this thing together for you. Dear gracious Father, oh God, Lord, I just want to say thank you this morning, oh God, Lord, thank you right now for this moment, Father God, for this is the day that you have made, oh God. And Lord, we rejoice and we're glad in it, Father God. Lord, I thank you right now for this message. I thank you right now for having my flight delayed 30 minutes so that I can get on here right now, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for just you, oh God. Like I thank you for you, oh God. I thank you for sending your only begotten son to die on the cross for my sins, oh God. Lord, I thank you for for just have, listening to us. I thank you for hearing us. I thank you for what you're doing, oh God. Lord, I thank you for shifting the atmosphere, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for just working, oh God. Lord, I thank you for the miracles that are coming. I thank you for the luggage that's already prepared before us, oh God. Lord, I thank you for just being with us, Father God, day in and day out, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for covering us. I thank you for your favor. I thank you for your love, Father God. Lord, I ask that you continue to fill us up, oh God, that you continue to cover us, that you continue to bless us, Father God. Lord, I pray for that person right now, oh God, that's like, I don't know how to pray. I pray for that person that struggles, oh God. I pray for that person that is just trying to figure out how to come to you, oh God. Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you just just get rid of the fear for we know that fear does not come from you but it comes from the enemy so right now oh God Lord I pray that they just surrender to you Father God that they just give in to your spirit oh God that they just allow you to just move oh God move in their hearts move in their families move in their lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus I ask that you just cover them right now Lord help them help them just give themselves to you oh God Lord I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you just 
take control over their lives, oh God. Lord, I pray right now that you just strengthen them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that there might be somebody that this is their first time praying with you alone, oh God. Lord, I pray that you just comfort them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, I I want to pray for continuing protection over us this weekend, oh God. Lord, I want to pray for travel and mercies over my family and others, oh God, as we travel on planes and cars and highways and byways, oh God. Lord, just protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. Allow no hurt, harm, or danger come to us, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for um, what you're doing in this atmosphere, oh God. Lord, I want to lift up um, one of our newest members, oh God, Janice. Um, Lawrence, oh God, Lord, I pray that you just pray for her and her family, oh God, that you just cover them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, I pray over healing, oh God, and um, Lord, I pray for healing over everybody in the world. I pray for Tangela, and oh God, Lord, pray for her the healing that she needs, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you've created a community, oh God, a community of like-minded believers that just come to you, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for, um, for us, Father God. Lord, I pray right now, oh God, for a strong mind for Tangela and her family, oh God. Lord, I pray right now over Tasha, oh God. Lord, and her aunt Joyce and her uncle James, oh God. Lord, I pray that you protect them, oh God. Let you heal them, oh God. Lord, that you heal their minds and their bodies, oh God. Lord, give them strength, oh God. Lord, give them strength to keep going, oh God. Lord, I pray for a miracle over them this weekend, a miraculous miracle of strength, oh God. Lord, I just thank you, oh God. I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And I thank you for um, listening and, and hearing our prayers, oh God, Lord, I pray in confidence that we're praying according to your will so that we know that it's already done, oh God, Lord, we lift up our arms and our hearts to you, oh God, Lord, we pray for a productive weekend, oh God, a weekend full of love, joy, peace, and happiness, we pray over the fruits of the spirit that they just overpour into our lives, oh God, Lord, we lift up our hearts and our hands to you in surrenderance right now, just saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray right now over that person that just says, I want to have a prayer life. That person that says, I want my conveyor belt working, oh God. Lord, I pray that you just touch them right now in a mighty way, oh God. Lord, touch their hearts in a mighty way and just give them the strength they need to just start praying, oh God. Lord, for we know that prayer is just a form of communication, oh God. Lord, but I pray against the, any anxiety that that person may feel in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we lift you up. Up and we pray that you just protect us to, for today, oh God, for this is the day that you have made, oh God, and we just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Lord, watch over our families, watch over our hearts, watch over every single person in this community that is hearing this prayer right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen, 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 sorry, I forgot to, forgot to turn it back on, sorry, y'all. All right, y'all. God is so good. God is so good. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed the whole, like, literally my flight was delayed. This happened and God was like, because that is supposed to be Friday's message, y'all. God is so good. Like, delayed my flight just for this message, like this message right here, y'all. You can't tell me that God don't direct every single path. When you ask God to truly direct every single path, he does just that. So I'm thankful for him. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up like button. Lisa, please make sure you like look down in the chat box so you can see the link for the journal. If not, I'll definitely give it to you again next week if you have not. But let me know if you still need it. I'll give it to you next week. If not, it's right down below in the description. You might have to click see more but you'll see the link. All right, the rest of you guys, I'll see you Monday morning. Have a blessed weekend. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May you stay covered. May you stay joyful. May you still be filled with peace. And I'll see you Monday morning, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Bye.